Hello everybody and this is my guitar vlog number 19 I'm going to talk about you know the capo and some simple use of the capo I'll talk about in this guitar vlog okay so why do we need the capo okay that's the main topic today I'm going to discuss so sometimes what happens we have a song in a particular key like for example if we have a song in C major scale I'm not going to remove it just think that it's not there C G and F okay so when the singer sings this song in C G using C G and F which is in C major scale he or she might not feel comfortable okay so then what happens she might have or he might have a different key where she or he is comfortable so then what happens it requires to change the scales for example if we are in C and if it's uncomfortable and she prefers to sing in A major then what we need to do we need to change the chords accordingly so while changing the chords we need to know a lot of theory you know for example C F and G if we consider C is the one F is fourth so don't get confused just listen to what I'm saying and then the things will be clear because you might not know a lot of stuffs so if you don't know theory then please visit our website musiccircle.in and check out our basic theory course then you'll understand and when you are changing from C to A so the same chord C is 1 F is 4 and G is 5 1 4 5 of C major scale and if you want to play the same thing in A major scale you have to find what are the first fourth and fifth note of A major scale which turns out to be A D and E so if you don't want to you know put your brain in a lot of pressure if you want to keep the chords same what you can do is you are playing in open position and if you move the capo to the you know ninth fret and play C F and G you get the chords of A major scale why because we need to know the shapes the C here the major chord has got the root note here on the third fret okay and if we can move it to the point where we have the root note as A here then the chord we are going to have is A so I'll have to move the C till I get to a point where this note is A so which is right here so if you want to play C it should look like this right the first fret should have the first finger so I put the capo here all right and if we get one chord then the other chord C F G you know following the numbers will automatically follow so this is A this is D and this is E alright so you won't have to do any calculation so that's why we need a capo so accordingly you can have the chords in different places and in different shapes alright and uh, I'll tell you a few shortcuts like always remember like C is 1 F is 4 and G is 5 so if any song is happening in C F G and you are unable to play just transpose it and find the C chord C chord shape with respect to the new chord you want for example I'll give you another example another song is going on C F and G going on in and I want to play it in D major scale so what do I do alright so what I have to do, I have to convert the root chord. So you have to know the scales, right? C is the one, so one, four, five, C, F, G. You have to find a C chord in the D position where the root note will be D. So D is here, so I'll hold a C major here and then figure out where to put the capo. You know, this should be the first fret. So, oh, sorry, this should be the first fret. So I put the capo on the second fret so that it becomes the first fret, just the next fret, all right? And then automatically it follows. If you want to, you know, transfer C major to E major, what do you need to do? You find out E, fifth string, third fret, E, and now put it here. This is the first fret, right? First finger. And this is one format in case, you know, you have a song in G major scale where you have a G major chord. Then you need to know the 1, 4, 5. I'm not talking about the minor because let us keep it simple for the time being. Because a, a scale has got three major and three minor chords, alright? So G, C and D. 
like 145145 so you need to know these information g c d so if the song is in g c d okay and you want to make it transpose it to c then what do you need to do the root note is here on the sixth string i need to find the c note right so i move it to the c note g a b c and i hold a g and if you hold g what do you know the third finger is on the third fret and the open string is here so the capo should always represent the open string so if i'm here on c the capo should always represent the open string right so this should be third fret so three two one and this is the open string so i put it here all right in case you're confused now you have one four five and similarly you can do it with other chords if you want your g c d to be transposed to d major scale you go to d this is D, right? C, D, and you hold, put it here, and you, 3, 2, 1, and open string. And you put the capo here, alright? So for that, you need to know the scales, otherwise it will be very different, difficult. So these two are very handy shapes like G and C, right? Either the root note is on the 5th string or the root note is on the 6th string. And sometimes if you want, if you know proper theory, then you can transpose a G, C, D to a C major scale, you know? by thinking of the numbers g c d one four five one four five then in c major what do you have directly c f g so then you don't need a capo you can move it you know directly to the next string or if you feel sometimes another case might arise your g c d you want to transpose it to d major scale which will have d um g and a chords all right d g a chord then what you need to do, you know, if you find that, if you feel that this is too far away from your reach, alright, then you can do, you can think of the same thing in the next string. For that you need to know the chords, right? So I put it here, um, yes, I put it here and I transpose to the D shape. So it might need some experience, but a little bit of calculation will do. So don't worry too much so C F and G will get you your G C and D chord in D major scale by putting the capo here so this is basically D all right so one four five so you need to have these concepts cleared like G C D one four five for G major scale and D sorry C F G is the one four five of C major scale and similarly we can do another format like D, G and A, right? This is another place we can use the capo. D is 1, G is 4 and A is 5, right? So 1, 4, 5. In that case, you have to put a capo here and if you want here the root note will be your open string, fourth string open, right? For example, I'll give you a basic example. You have D, G, A, and I want to play it in E major. I can I want to transpose it to E major. If I don't know the scales much, I can move it up a whole step and I can play the same thing by putting the capo on the second fret because D, D sharp, E is the sequence, all right? And if you think of 1, 4, 5, and if I want my C, G, and F or C, F, G to be transposed to E major, you know, instead of putting the capo here, not here, here, what I can do, I can put the capo here and play C, D, G, and A any way these are one four fives so now you have three things to play with okay use a piece of paper write it down and take a chord progression in G and transpose it to C shape so think of the shapes you know from G to C shape means your root chord will be in C shape for from G to D shape means your root chord will be in D shape and before I finish what I'd like to tell you is let's take one key we are going to use capo but not change the scale, alright? G, C, just think of the tune. Now, I want to play the 
same thing G C D in a different shape. So let's start with C shape. Okay. G sorry. See the I'm I'm keeping the tune same which I was humming I were humming before. Now let's give it a lyrics. Same sound, and now if I want to make it in D, D shape, it might sound like this. Now you get it, you can have the same chord progression in different places because you know the warmth of the chords change in different places. It this sound might be more pleasing to you compared to So this is how you have a lot of options. So there's one more thing, caged system. It's a huge topic. It's not possible in one video to explain. So this is what I was using, caged system to, you know, understand the things better. Anyway, so I hope you had a great time learning this. And feel free to follow me in Steemit and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the name of Dams Guitar, Tomal Ghosh is my name. And also like us in Facebook. That's it and I'll see you tomorrow with some fresh lesson. Bye-bye.